hey guys and welcome back to the kitchen so today we are going to have some ribs potato salad and I don't know what other side we're gonna have but we're gonna definitely have some ribs today now these ribs here are um, Smith premium and they have an Old West mesquite shake that is put on these now these ribs here were from the dumpster but I didn't dumpster dive them um, actually a fellow dumpster diver he does it and he gets lots of meat and he gave me some so <laughs> um, this is the meat that he had it does say a date of December 27th but he got it on the 26th because it was going to expire and he put it in the freezer so it was cold I just thought this out so we're going to put this into here and put it in the oven. I already got my oven at 375 degrees. And um, these dumpster potatoes I did get. I actually went to that same dumpster that he goes to when I was in his town. And found three bags of these uh, potatoes. And um, so I'm going to make my potato salad with these. Right now I have my water here. I'm going to get ready to put that start my water up but um that is what we're gonna have we're gonna have some delicious ribs some potato salad so we're gonna just have some home style eating today okay guys so what we're gonna do with these ribs let me show you them first because you're like oh meat from the dumpster let me show you look how beautiful this is even on the back it doesn't have any whatever you want to look for <laughs> nice it smells uh, you have to do the smell test to make sure that it smells good and I'm just gonna cut this in between the bones because I want it to fit into my little Pyrex here Could turn them sideways. There we go. We're gonna get them all to go in there. This is already seasoned up and everything. Look how beautiful. Let me show you the marbling on that. Ooh wee! Look at that. That is some beautiful meat there. All right. We're just gonna put some fall paper on it and put this bad boy into the oven if it wasn't seasoned um, you can season it up with other, other kind of seasoning but like I said it had smoked mesquite oh this is gonna be so delicious let's put it in this oven and ready to do these potatoes that I got from the dumpster like I said now this potato pillar that I'm using here I love this. This is great for anybody that has uh, carpal tunnel issues or whatever because it has a bigger handle to it. It's not that little bitty tiny one. And so this one is better to have this way. So just peeling the potatoes if, with this nice grip, you don't drop potatoes as easily. All right, we're going to start putting our potatoes. And what I have in the sink is just some water in a pot because, you know, on a, a, a pan, let me show you what it is. Um, because you know when you start peeling potatoes, then they turn black. So we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go ahead and shave and look how quick and easy it is. And I will get the potato peels out of there. It's just something I do. So usually I have a bag up in here. Um, I don't today, but I usually have a bag in here to pick them up. But they'll be fine. I'm just putting all the peels over here to the side. But it makes it really quick to get these potatoes done when you don't have to worry about that little bitty one. Look at those. So you just put it in this water so then they won't turn brown. In the meantime, while this is going on, make sure that you have your water boiling, um, getting ready to boil so you can put these potatoes on in here. We are going to quarter them or cut them smaller. And, um, yep, I'm going to 
keep y'all here while I do all these potatoes. Um, it's actually, I'm probably not going to do all of them because um, it's just my daughter and I. I don't know if my other one is going to come over today. She's off of work. So is her, her husband, which is my son-in-law. They're off of work today, so I don't know if they'll come over or not. But, you know, you always got to have a little more. You never know. People might just show up at your house. <laughs> here is our potatoes. Like I said, it's just me and my daughter here. And uh, so I'm not going to make too much of this. But what I am going to do is go ahead and cut these up. Like I said, quarter of them. Or just make them into smaller pieces. So probably into six or five, something like that, to each one of them. Okay, so one of the things that I learned when I was in culinary school is that your knife is supposed to be extension of your hand. So it shouldn't feel awkward when you're doing it. You should feel comfortable when you are with your knife. Um, let me know in the comments below if y'all want to um, talk about knife techniques or how to cut different things like um, vegetables, like julienne or that kind of thing now guys I'm gonna be honest when I was in school um, the shapes and stuff that we had to cut different fruits and vegetables your girl was not the best at it <laughs> because um, the whole point is not having a lot of waste and the time I whittle it down to what shape it's supposed to be in, I was just like, uh, the chef was like, why do we have all this extra and I'm like, uh, I was trying to get it perfect <laughs> so uh, but let me know in the comments if, if y'all would like to see knife techniques. One of the things that I had a hard time with doing was when I cut with my knife, I wanted to put my foot finger up here thinking that's the way I can break my knife, right? Well, that's not the way you should hold it. You should actually grip the knife around like this. If you can see how I'm gripping it you have more control over your knife when you have it like this when you have it like this it's kind of wobbly as you can see and so let me tell y'all a story what happened so I'm in class and I I know you're like oh my gosh no he didn't but uh, I'm gonna make these a little smaller while I talk but so my chef kept telling me hey curve your fingers around your knife and I'm like oh, okay you know and so he was going around the class looking at different ones cutting and stuff and he came back to me and guys this is how I was doing <laughs> with this finger and he came over there to my station where I was and he leaned down guys and bit my finger bit my finger yeah now look I know y'all probably like what he was a French chef and um <laughs> they didn't play no games if you ever because um I took French cuisine when I was in school and they don't play like you know do it right the first time don't you know when they tell you something to do it right and he seriously leaned down and bit my finger and uh, not hard but it was the point of saying if I catch this finger up on top of this knife again so I always think about that when I go to put my finger, you know, I'm like, ah, I remember when Chef bit it. <laughs> but, um, let me see. I think these potatoes are small enough. Let me rinse them off. Guys, so we have these potatoes. We're going to put them on into this water. Slide them on in there. Look at that. Now we're going to let these potatoes boil for until it gets soft when you hit it, um, use a fork and to break the potatoes apart it should softly 
break apart we don't want it to be mashed potatoes <laughs> so you know a little bit of firmness but enough that you can chew and eat them see they are ready to take off here i'm going to drain this and then we're going to go ahead and put the ingredients in there okay guys we have our potatoes as you can see oh don't they look beautiful now what we're going to put in this pot is some butter first we got butter of the potatoes I like my buttery so potato uh, butter we're gonna put some pepper salt garlic powder onion powder now you'll see garlic and onion powder get used a lot because I love those two ingredients. So um, we also have some sweet relish. You can use dill relish. I like sweet relish. Mayo. Mustard. And we're going to actually put some sugar in here as well. So we're going to go ahead and put some mayo in here. All right, nice serving, nice helpings of, of some mayo in there. And it's just all to the creaminess that you want in there. So that's what it's looking like right now. Now we're just gonna mix this up. See the potatoes still have, you know, some kind of form to them, but a lot of it's, you know, you know, potato salad. I don't, I don't like when it's like really hard potatoes in there. I like them someone that you can actually chew them, you know. Okay, so we have that. Then we're going to go ahead and add some relish to there. And I don't have much relish left in here, so I'm going to dump what is left <laughs> in here. I'm going to have to get some more relish. Hopefully I'll find some at the dumpster. And um, mix that in there. and mustard now you don't have to put mustard in there mustard is more of a southern thing up north um they don't do mustard you know um or i've heard they don't do mustard <laughs> uh so we do put mustard in it it just gives a tang to the food but then we're gonna add some sugar in there so it's gonna be a tang and tangy and sweet kind of thing Mm. All right, let's get our sugar. All right. All right. Just going to put a little sugar up in now. Make it a little sweet though. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to get a spatula. A rubber spatula is going to make it a lot easier than the spoon. So let's take it off that spoon and let the rubber spatula do its job. All right, so it'll get all nice in all those areas. Mm. So if you like potato salad, put it in the comment. In the comment section, tell me, you know. Do you use mustard or you don't use mustard? Let me know. And say, are you from the north or are you in the south? So I can kind of do a poll. I might do a poll on that and see if you, you use mustard <laughs> or just a mayo. Whew. There is our potato salad. It is nice and ready. Now, some people, you can serve it hot. Or you can put it in the refrigerator and cool it down to make some cold potato salad. Either way, both are good. Um, so, I do want to show y'all what it looks like. Look at that. 
Mmm. <laughs> There's some potato salad. Y'all want some parsley on there, don't y'all? I know. And like, it's not complete. You haven't put the parsley on there, Cynthia. Let me let me oblige you. Well, let's go ahead and put a little, a little bit of parsley. Parse. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now that just makes it lovely. So let's get these ribs out of the oven. Now, as you can see, they are in a different pan <laughs> because this small pan, which I had before, was just too small. Like my ribs needed room to breathe and I don't know why I tried to go with that small one because that just did not work. So we're going to go ahead and take this foil off of here because we need to put some barbecue sauce on there. Let's uncover this. Ooh, that looks good. Oh my goodness, look at all that juice and mm, 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 deliciousness in there. Um, that looks real nice. Look at these ribs. Okay. So what we're going to do is uncover them now. And we're going to put some uh, barbecue sauce on here. Um, the kind we're using today is slow simmered original. This is craft brand, but um, you can use whatever kind. They got sweet baby rays. They got all type that people use. Or you know, some people don't put barbecue sauce on there. They like no dry seasoning is the way to go. Which to each his own. Either way, it tastes good. But I'm I'm just a sauce type of person. If you're a sauce type of person, hit a thumbs up on this. And even if you're not, just go ahead and hit a thumbs up on this. <laughs> but we're going to smother these ribs. Like I said, slow and smother. Whoop. There's our little thing to say, pull it out of the oven. <laughs> but we was a little ahead of the game on that. So anyway, we're going to put it back in the oven for maybe five more minutes. For it can get... Um, a coating on there with that but oh my goodness guys this this is about to go down this is about to go down oh yes oh yes 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 all right so when you do your ribs you want to cut in between the bones so you see the bones right here you want to cut in between those uh bones so you can have something to hold on to when you when you're cooking it I mean when you're eating it let's see where the bone at oh there we go okay it's hot Mm. All right. Look at that, guys. Let's just—we're just gonna cut a little bit of this. You can see across there. Oh, look at that. Nice. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> That tastes really good. Alright. We're going to go ahead and put our ribs on here. Oh, those look beautiful. And we're going to put our potato salad on here. Nice big scoop of that. Mmm. Let's put some parsley. Let's put that parsley on now. What's that looking like? Okay. Here we go. All right. So, guys, here is our ribs and our potato salad both contributed from the dumpster and doesn't that look beautiful that looks beautiful and it's gonna taste even more beautiful <laughs> 
all right guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button to join this channel please do and i will see you next time in the kitchen